Today I'm going to be working on making some mixed pickles. It calls for one and a fourth pounds of cucumbers, two cups of sliced carrots, two cups of celery slices, two cups of pickling onions. I didn't have any pickling onions, so I just cut up a red onion. Two red onions, about two cups. Uh, two sweet red peppers. It calls for strips, but I just cut them in kind of bigger chunks. Um, three cups of cauliflower. Two hot red peppers. I did two habaneros. I took the seeds out. I hope they're not too hot. Then we're going to end up using a cup of salt, four quarts of water, two cups of sugar, a fourth a cup of mustard seed, two tablespoons of celery seed, and six and a half cups of vinegar. First thing I'm going to do is dissolve the salt in cold water, and we're going to pour it over the vegetables, and we're going to let these stand for about 12 to 18 hours in a cool place. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and mix up my salt and water, and once I get that dissolved, I'll bring you back as I pour it over the vegetables. All right, I've got four quarts of water in my little container. I've let it dissolve, so I'm just going to let this pour into the dish pan over the vegetables. All right. I'm just going to mix everything together. And I'm going to just let these sit down here in the basement where it's cool for about 12 to 18 hours. And um, then we'll get them processed and canned up. And I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, guys, here's our vegetables. They've been soaking about 18 hours. I'm going to move them over to the sink and put them in a strainer. And we're going to rinse all this salt off of them okay guys here are the vegetables they've been sitting for 18 hours i'm gonna move them over to the sink and we're going to rinse some in a colander and get the salt off the, of them I'm gonna keep rinsing these for a couple minutes and when I get to the next step, I will bring you back. All right, we've got six and a half cups of apple cider vinegar, 5% acidity. I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. to bring this to a bowl for two minutes. Is it two minutes? We're gonna bring this to a bowl for three minutes. Okay guys, today we're gonna to be making an end of the garden pickle and it calls for a pound of zucchini, one pound of green beans, a half a pound of carrots, a half a pound of small pickling onions, two large green peppers, one large sweet red pepper, three cups of apple cider vinegar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of dry mustard, two tablespoons of mustard seed, one and a half tablespoons of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of ginger. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut up our zucchini into one fourth inch slices. So I'm gonna cut my ends off. I'll put that in my scrap bowl. And then we're just going to slice.
Just be careful when you get to the end here. You don't want to cut your fingers. All right, I'm going to put these in my dish pan just till I get everything else cut up. Next thing we're going to do is our carrots. And I'm just going to cut up these into, what did it say? into slices. It says about three medium, but I weighed it out and this is the same amount per pound. And I'm just gonna slice these up diagonally. If I can get them all out in my little bucket. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut these. I'm not going to do them all. All right. I'm just going to do diagonal slices just for some aesthetic look in the jar. So that way. So I'm going to do them all like that. When I get those done, I'll bring you back. Okay. These just come off. They've been boiling for three minutes. Now we're going to put them in our jars. <laughs> A good mixture of vegetables. All right, take a few of those out. And I'm going to go back and add the rest of the vinegar once I get all of my jars with vegetables. Just keep filling them up, guys, like this till I get them finished. And I'll bring you back when I get ready to add more liquid to my jars. Okay, before I top my jars off with liquid, I'm going to put an eighth of a teaspoon of this in each one of my pints. Got a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm doing half, I'm half of that. Just to keep it a little crispier. going to top these off with a little more of the liquid and spice. That's where we're at. We do the next one. Do a good mixture. Pour that over. Alright guys, I'm going to keep doing that until I finish filling my jars and then I'll bring you back when I put the lids on. Okay, I've probably got a cup left. I'm just going to end up putting that in something and I may just do me a quick pickle mixture in the refrigerator with that. Sorry, my camera keeps acting crazy. I don't know what it's picking up on. Okay guys, I'm going to put my lids on. I'll bring you right back. Okay, now we just want to clean our rim off because of that sugar that's in our vinegar. mine to be facing the name on the drawer but you can you don't have to do them that way and just do them finger tight especially if I'm gonna end up giving them away to somebody I just think it makes the presentation prettier all right I'm gonna finish the rest of them up just like I did these two and I'll bring you right back okay I've got my jars in the canner you want at least one to two inches of water above the top of the jar lids. 
we're going to let these come to a boil. Once these come to a boil, we're going to let them um, process in the water bath counter at a boil for 15 minutes. Then I'll, once that happens, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to bring them out and put them on the counter. Okay, guys, I've got them in the canner with at least one inch of water over top. We're going to let them come up to a good bowl, and we're going to let them boil for 15 minutes. Hey guys, here they are at the counter. I think they turned out really beautiful. I uh, ended up with six pints. They look so good. I can't wait to try these. I've never made these before, so I'm a little excited. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you give these a try. And let me know if you do, if you liked them or not. And I'll try when I open these up to, little, to do a little short video and let you know what I think about them.